أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صلى الله عليك يا رسول الله صلى الله عليك وعلى أهل بيتك المظلومين صلى الله عليك يا سيدي ويا مولاي يا أبا عبد الله يا رحمة الله الواسعة ويا باب نجاة الأمة ويا عبرة كل مؤمن ومؤمنة يا مظلوم يا غريب يا شهيد كربلاء يا ليتنا كنا معكم سادتي فنفوز فوزا عظيما The lights are off because in Karbala tonight the lights are off How can the nights not be how can the lights not be off when the moon of Karbala has disappeared tonight? Imagine in the morning all the men, Imam Hussein with his shining face, Abil Fadl al Abbas, Ali al Akbar and Al Qasim, they're all alive, all present. Today their bodies are scattered all over the battleground. Wherever you look, you will find dead bodies, headless bodies of the companions of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Right after the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, right when Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam, she came, she rushed to the scene, and she saw Shimr ibn Dil Joshan approaching Imam Hussein alayhi salam. She could not stand the sight. She came rushing back to the camp, coming to the tent of Imam Zain al Abidin. Imam Zain al Abidin was lying. As soon as she entered, she felt a major earthquake take place. Major wind, high winds, dust, and an earthquake. She told him, my dear nephew, what is going on? What has happened? Imam Zain al-Abideen, with his hand, he removed the curtain from his tent. And he said, Amma Zainab, look outside. She looked and she saw the head of Imam Hussein on a spear carried by Shimr ibn al -Joshan. <laughs> What a sight. La ilaha illallah. The corpses, the bodies were scattered all over the ground. <laughs> Imam Hussein alayhi salam was in his armor. He was fully clothed in his armor. The soldiers one by one, they came to the body of Imam Hussein and began stripping him off his clothing. One took his armor, one took his shield. They began stripping him. <laughs> One of them wanted to take Imam Hussein's belt. <laughs> he went for Imam Hussein's belt. Narrators say that Imam Hussein's hand moved and he put his hand on his belt. 
holding tightly to his belt. As this wicked soldier tried his best to steal Imam Hussein's belt, he couldn't. So he found a sharp object and he came and he cut off the hand of Imam Hussein. <laughs> Another soldier came to the body of Imam Hussein, that headless body. And he saw a ring in the hand in the on the finger of Imam Hussein. He wanted this finger. With his dagger, he cut off the, the finger of Imam Hussein and he took his ring. <laughs> On an evening like this, as Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam, she comes looking through the headless bodies of the companions until she comes to a headless body stripped of its armor, stri stripped of its clothing. She says, Anta akhi, anta walidi. Are you my brother? Are you the son of my father? She comes and she embraces the neck of Imam Hussein, the place of the swords of the enemies. She then puts her hands underneath the trampled body of Aba Abdullah and she says, Ilahi Allahumma inna hadha qurbanu nabiyika Muhammad fataqabbalahu bi ahsan al qabool. Oh Allah, this is the sacrifice of your Prophet Muhammad. Oh Allah, accept the sacrifice. <laughs> Umar ibn Sa'd, he then stood in front of his soldiers and he wanted volunteers. Volunteers to do what? He wanted volunteers to trample the chest of Abba Abdullah with the hooves of their horses. There were 10 volunteers. They stood in a line and they took turns. They put the they put the bodies of Imam Hussein and the companions in one line and they started stamping the body of Imam Hussein with their horses. Breaking every single rib in his body, breaking all of his bones. Ya Aba Abdullah. Umar ibn Sa'd. After the battle of Ashura, he ordered his soldiers to cut off the heads of the companions of Imam Hussein and to put those heads on spears. Starting with the head of Imam Hussein, Abu al Fadl Abbas, Ali al Akbar, Al Qasim. They counted 71 heads. Umar bin Sa'd said that there is a head missing. We killed 72 of the companions of Imam Hussein. There is one head missing. One soldier said, I know where that head is. That head is in a very small grave behind the tents of Aba Abdullah. The head of Abdullah al -Radhi. They went and dug that small grave. They brought his head and they put it on a spear. Umar ibn Sa'd ordered his soldiers to burn down the tents of his Sayyidah Zainab and the women and the children. They set those tents on fire. The women and children began screaming, moving from one tent to another. 
until they gathered in the tent of Imam Zain al Abidi. يفتران خوات حسين من خيمة العيد خيمة ينخن وين راحن وين ما ظل بالعرب شيمة One of the girls of Imam Hussein she was set on fire حميد بن مسلم he says that I put off the fire from this child, from this little girl, from one of the daughters of Imam Hussein. And then she said, I have a request for you. He said, yes, anything, ask. She said, take me to Al Ghari, to Al Najaf. I've heard from my father that we have a grave over there in Al Najaf. I want to go and complain to him what has happened to us. He said, My daughter, do you know where Al Ghari is? Al Najaf is a long distance. I cannot take you to Al Najaf. She said, In that case, then take me to the river. He said, why the river? She said, because my uncle is sleeping next to the river. Take me to his dead body. He took her to the river. She saw the scattered body of Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas. Amma. My uncle Abbas. When you, were, you were, when you were alive, they would not dare reach us. Now look at what is happening to us. <laughs> <laughs> On this night, Umar ibn Sa'ad ordered his soldiers to finally give some, some water to the children and women. Finally, his heart was broken. He said, let's give them some water. The soldiers brought water to the children, but to their shock, they saw that none of the children drank water. They said, how can we drink water when you killed our fathers thirsty? كيف نشرب الماء وقد قتلتم أبانا عطشانا Except one girl. Except one girl. She took the water. Everyone wanted to see what will she do with the water. She did not drink the water. Instead, she entered the battleground and she started looking through the dead bodies looking for a special dead body until she sat next to a headless body and she said Aba, Aba, ya Aba, Abdullah Qum washrab al My father, get up, they finally brought some water Shlon ashrab ladhid al حاشا حاشا وقوم يقضوا كلهم عطاشا سيدة زينب عليه السلام on a night like this her brother had requested from her to look after the women and children سيدة زينب upon all of her tragedies upon all of her pain she lost her brothers she lost her children she lost her nephews she lost her caretakers. Now she has to look after the women and children. She had to have a head count every couple of minutes. She would count the women and children. She noticed that there was a woman missing. One of the women was missing. Who was that woman? She recounted again and she realized that the woman who was missing was Ar-Rabab, the mother of Abdullah. Where could she be? They looked outside of the tents. She was not there. They looked in the battleground. She was not there. Sayyidah Zainab knew that there was one possible place where she could be. She went behind the tents and she saw Rabab sitting next to the grave of Abdullah. 
telling him, my son Abdullah, for the past few days, I was not able to breastfeed you. But now I am able to breastfeed you. Ya bini, ya bini, ya Abdullah, ya Ghali. Ya Ghali, ya Nabir Baak, Saharat al-Layali. Ya Nahizan bil-Mahad, wil-Mahad khali. On a night like this, as Sayyida Zainab alayhi salam did not forget to pray Salat al-Layl. Sayyida Zainab would always pray Salat al-Layl, even on this night, this very sad night, this lonely night. Sayyida Zainab did not forget to pray Salat al-Layl. However, she could not pray Salat al-Layl by standing. She had to pray sitting. The day before, Imam Hussein alayhi salam, one of his requests to his sister Zainab to look after the woman, to look after the children, to look after the orphans. One of his requests, my sister Zainab, when you stand for Salat al-Layl, remember your brother. Don't forget your brother. وَإِذَا قُمْتِ إِلَى نَافِلَةِ اللَّيْلِ اذْكُرِينِي وَإِذَا صَلَّيْتِ صَلَاةً فَصِلِينِي Umar bin Sa'd, he held the head of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and he wanted his reward so he gave the head of Abu Abdullah to one of his soldiers by the name of Khuwalla or Khuwalli. Then he told him, take the head of Imam Hussein to Kufa, go to Ubaidillah ibn Ziyad and give him this gift so that perhaps he will give us our gift. <laughs> Khuwalla goes to Kufa and he arrives in the middle of the night. He goes to the mansion of Ubaidillah ibn Ziyad, they tell him that the Amir is sleeping, come back in the morning. Khuwalla comes at night, he comes to his house, his wife greets him, and she tells him, what do you have in the bag? <laughs> he said, I brought you some great treasure. I brought you the head of the son of Fatima. She told him, shame on you. When men come back from travels, they bring jewelry and gifts. You bring me the head of Fatima to Zahra. Shame on you. That night, the wife of Khuwalla sleeps in another room. She decided to abandon Khuwalla forever. She stood up in the middle of the night to pray Salat al-Layl. All of a sudden, she saw a beaming light from the sky to her house in the room where they kept the head of Imam Hussein. She headed towards that light and she heard a voice, the voice of a lady Perhaps the voice of a mother saying, Waladi Kataluk, my son, did they kill you? Kataluk, Wama Arafuk, Woman Shurubil Ma Imanauk, my son, they killed you without knowing who you are, and they did not allow you to drink water before death. She <laughs> ma ma 
شريب توم عاد بما إن فذكروني كان بلا يا كان بلا recite with me all together كان بلا يا كان بلا شيعتي ما ما شريب توم ما أعاد بن فذكروني كان بلا كان بلا يا كان بلا كان بلا أو سمعتم بقتيل أو شهيد فاندبوني كان بلا يا كان بلا برمشا ما مير ساد هار لا هزبو يا كار بلا كار بلا كان بلا در دلم ترسم بما ناد آرزو يا كار بلا كار بلا كار بلا فأنا الصبط الذي من غير جور من قتلوني كان بلا كان بلا وبجور دل خيل باع دل قتل عام دل ساحقوني كار بلا كار بلا از حرام طاقت لقاح زينب صدا ميزاد حسين كان بلا كان بلا دست پا ميزاد حسين كان بلا كان بلا يا كان بلا كان بلا صلوا على محمد وعلى محمد